Hi, my name is Nadine from Aligniness. Today, I will be reading to you from Emmett Fox's book around the year for April 18th, entitled Salt and Light. Read Matthew 5, verses 13 to 16. In the fifth chapter of Matthew are recorded some of the most powerful pronouncements of Jesus. Ye are the salt of the earth. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5 verses 13 to 14. It is possible and in fact only too easy to accept these vital principles as being true, to love the beauty in them, and yet not to put them consistently into practice into one's own life. But this is a perilous attitude, for in that case, the salt has lost its savor and it's good for nothing but to be cast out and trotted underfoot. If you make every effort to practice the teachings of Jesus in every department of your own daily life, if you seek systematically to destroy in yourself selfishness, pride, vanity, sensuality, self-righteousness, jealousy, self-pity, resentment, condemnation, and so forth, not feeding or nourishing them by giving in to them, if you extend the right thought loyally to every person within your ken, then you are worthy to be called the salt of the earth. If you truly live this life, then not only will you make your own demonstration in the quickest possible time, but you will be in a very positive sense a healing and illuminating influence on all around you. You will be a blessing to men and women in remote places and times. Men and women of whom you have never heard and who will never hear of you. A light of the world. Have a wonderful day.